over recent weeks a number of different people have contacted me about this solar charge controller and asked me if it was any good and if it would live up to its claims. So, uh, well, I picked one up. And here's the eBay listing that I purchased and uh, I've had some positive feedback. Less than £17 here, about US$20 for this 30 amp USB LCD MPPT solar charge controller solar panel battery regulator 12 volt 24 volt. And as you can see here it's been listed as an MPPT charge controller and if we look further into the description here we can see that same title uh, it comes in 30 50 and 70 amp models again it mentions here intelligent mppt charging mode uh, 12 and 24 volts dual mos reverse current protection excellent uh, automatic identification of 12 or 24 volt humanized LCD displaying um, but also here on line 4 again high efficiency intelligent MPPT 3 stage charging mode and if we go a bit further down um, it mentions MPPT once more in the charging type so it's pretty obviously being sold as an MPPT solar charge controller um, but is it? Now, I'll be honest, a true MPPT solar charge controller for $20 or less is a little bit suspicious. It seems a little bit too good to be true. So I've taken a few of the keywords here on eBay, USB LCD charge controller 70A, and I've put them into another eBay search here. And if we scroll down, we can see a number of different auctions for this same product. So let's have a look at this one. Again, this claims the same sort of thing in the title, but if we look at the description of the product, uh, we can see here, suddenly, it's changed. 70A PWM LCD MPPT solar charge controller, and we've got high efficiency, intelligent PWM three-stage charging mode. So uh, if I was searching around on eBay for this product, I'm starting to question the authenticity of these descriptions. So despite the question over those auction listings, I've decided to give it a go and purchase the Perfect Suter Solar Charge Controller. And it's turned up in a nice retail box. Uh, a little bit bashed, but uh, all good, all the same. And looking at the front of this box, there's some nice information about some of the features, but it doesn't mention uh, the charging method there, does it? So uh, let's have a look around. There's model information there again. No charging information. The sticker does say MPPT, so uh, the sort of stock sticker. So that's uh, pretty useful. And on the front, well, actually, yeah, that says Floating 3 MPPT Intelligent Control. So this is looking pretty good, isn't it? And on the back, yeah, no mention again, but yeah, it shows you how to connect it all. That's certainly useful. And on the side, uh, okay. Interestingly, the LCD display, there is battery charging, but clearly something was under here. Can we uh, see what was written I don't think that's going to come across on the camera at all. But I think under there it says PWM battery charging. So this is truly a very confused box. No wonder the listing was, well, confusing. Once you get in the box, there is an instruction of solar charge controller user's manual. And uh, in this first page straight away it does mention again high efficiency intelligent PWM three-stage charging mode. Um, so yeah, it's confirming it's PWM and I can't find anything else in this manual that suggests it's MPPT. Um, it does have a max input on the solar panel as 55 volts, but I don't think that suggests that it is MPPT where you can connect a higher voltage, lower current solar panel to the input and end up with a lower voltage, higher current charging uh, output for the battery 
Now, a MPPT solar charge controller does, in my mind, two extra things over a standard switching or PWM solar charge controller. Of course, it does maximum power point tracking. It effectively adjusts the load on the solar panel to find that sweet spot where it's making the most power at that point. But crucially, it also does DC to DC conversion. It takes a higher voltage, lower current input and converts it to a lower voltage, higher current output. And that's done through a book converter circuit. And here's a picture from Wikipedia of, well, the most basic type of book converter. And a basic book converter has three different components, a switch, a diode, and an inductor. Well, inside any solar charge controller, I'd expect there to be a switch because, of course, it's controlling the charge. It needs to be able to turn off the solar panel to protect the battery. And they're typically a MOSFET or a transistor, so I expect to find one or two or more uh, MOSFETs inside the Perfect Suter solar charge controller. I also expect to find in here some diodes and some pretty chunky diodes as well uh, because they have to carry the current from the solar panel through to the battery and protect the uh, battery from being discharged overnight through the solar panel. So yeah, there will definitely be some diodes in here. So the only remaining component that definitely must be in an MPPT solar charge controller is the inductor. And generally, there's no reason to have one in a PWM solar charge controller. That is to say, unless, of course, you have some additional uh, outputs like this USB one here and this 12 volt DC output. Yeah, you definitely need inductors to book and boost so there are going to be some small inductors in here but is there going to be an inductor capable of carrying the 30 amps which this claims to be able to uh, handle um, and do the dc to dc conversion from i don't know 50 volts down to 12 and increase that current so I think it's time to get inside the Perfect Suter solar charge controller and straight away I have to say it doesn't weigh an awful lot. And that's partly because this uh, heat sink at the back is pretty weedy to be honest. For a 30 amp solar charge controller uh, that's quite small and if it was doing DC to DC conversions well I guess there's inefficiencies in there isn't there and inefficiencies present themselves as heat so then you'd need to somehow dissipate that heat so yeah I guess you can tell from what I'm saying that I'm not convinced we're going to find a reasonable size inductor in here but I'm about to possibly eat my words and uh, we shall see now does the yes the heat sink uh, comes off there and uh, yeah okay so i can see some mosfets there straight away that have this uh, heat um, transferring tape on them to get that onto the heat sink so uh, yeah that doesn't look too bad we've then got the uh, solar no sorry the load output here connects through some wires and, uh, and a connector that i sort of remember from years ago i can't remember what that connector's Cold, cold, but I remember that from um, uh, remote control cars, I think. Um, so let's take this main board out. This clearly, this first board, I think, is the solar charge controller. And the board underneath, I'm guessing, is the LCD, the USB, and the 12 volt output. And I guess that makes sense that uh, the uh, load side connects through to those outputs so i've managed to disconnect that there's the cables for the lcd screen and oh well goodness there's not a lot on that board is there so taking a closer look here we have uh, an lm258 is an op amp i believe and over here the uh, what's this marked as bcp 5, 5 I'm guessing that's a 5 volt regulator here for the uh, yep yeah, the microcontroller which is under that cable it's a ST microcontroller uh, but clearly no inductors whatsoever 
on this board and actually that of course makes it easy for me to diagnose that this can't really be an MPPT solar charge controller because all of the switching between the, the uh, solar over here, the battery and the load is done through these MOSFETs and there's no um, uh, inductor there at all is there? There's absolutely nothing uh, of any size that could take any current. Um, and so if there are any inductors on this lower board here, which there should be, there must be, uh, that will be for the USB, the 12 volt output, won't it? Should we have a quick look at that? Right, with those screws out, let's take out this sort of control module, I guess you might call it. Here's the LCD panel here and the uh, data going to it. Down here, we've got the two buttons uh, for the front of the controller and to uh, change the parameters. Uh, there is uh, two diodes here. There's an inductor right there in the middle and a couple of capacitors and this is an lm2596 which is an adjustable i think voltage regulator isn't it so that is probably doing the five volts here isn't it for the usb and perhaps these are just a raw output yes there's just straight there from the 12 volt yeah and the ground so they're raw battery outputs and you've got a 5 volt uh, uh, USB output yeah so definitely no inductors anywhere to be found in this solar charge controller are there well there it is all back together again but ever the optimist as you know I'm going to plug in a battery and a solar panel and we'll see what it does Right, there is a bit of sun um, showing through some clouds, so I'm going to give this a very quick go. We've got the Perfect Suter um, solar charge controller here in the middle, and it's connected to a sealed lead acid battery, a 12 amp hour small sealed lead acid battery, and it's claiming that it's sat at about 12.1 volts. And uh, that's about right, because I've been discharging it, and I've also got a 20 watt load on there as well, a little lamp also drawing drawing that battery's uh, voltage down. That's confirmed here by this port power meter on the right hand side showing 12.13 volts on that battery. Um, so yeah, they uh, tally up, that's quite nice. And we can see here on the port power, it's showing that 15 milliamps of current are being consumed uh, by the solar charge controller because I haven't yet connected the solar panels. Now the solar panels are two 50 watt monocrystalline panels um, wired up in series to create a uh, open circuit vo uh, voltage sorry, of about 42 volts if they're in strong sunlight. They're just showing about 41 volts at the moment. Um, it's not the best day um, to be testing this, but uh, I think we're going to be able to see what we need to see anyway. Now the solar panels connected should have a maximum power point of somewhere around the 35 volt range, but due to the fact that that sun isn't terribly strong today, uh, that might waver a little bit. But yes, yeah, so we'd expect 35 volts on the left hand side, 12 point something volts on the right hand side and uh, a clear increase in current. So without further ado, let's connect the solar panel to the charge controller. And there we go, we've got PV straight away on the screen. It's showing that the uh, photovoltaics are sat at, uh, was it 12.3 volts? And that's confirmed here on the left hand side by the port of power meter. So yeah, straight away, the uh, voltage of those solar panels has been dragged down to just a little bit above the uh, battery voltage. And yeah, so that's sticking there as well, isn't it? 12.3 volts uh, on the solar side now, 384 milliamps, 4.5 watts. And on the right-hand side, if I change the mode, we can see, yeah, 360 milliamps going into that battery, 4.5 watts. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we're not using higher voltage panels here in any way, shape or form, are we? Let's give it a minute. Well, I've just ducked my head out of the shed and the sun is shining reasonably well, but we're only getting three and a half watts um, into those solar panels. And that's not really terribly surprising because they've been dragged down to 12.3 volts. Well, two panels in series, 
42 volts open circuit, maximum power point around 35 volts. Well, there are a third of the voltage where they should be really. Clearly, it's just been dragged down to the uh, battery voltage and effectively there's just a direct connection here at the moment between the solar panel and the battery and all the current that's been created is going straight there. There is nothing happening in between. The perfect suitor is not doing any sort of DC to DC conversion at all. Now, clearly, this isn't my perfect suitor. It hasn't got the vital component, that inductor, to be able to do MPPT, so we didn't really even need to plug it in to find out. Yes, I may have only put a few watts through this thing, and yes, uh, my EP Ever Solar Charge Controller doesn't do full MPPT until there's at least 10 watts or something of that nature, but clearly that vital component is missing on the inside of this. Now, this solar charge controller may well be a decent PWM solar charge controller. It's certainly cheap enough at $20 or thereabouts, and it's got quite a lot of features, hasn't it? With the LCD, the USB output, being able to adjust various different parameters. And do you know what? If it was sold as a PWM solar charge controller, I think I'd be uh, saying it's a good option for a cheap unit that gives you lots of information. So if you're buying from eBay, especially from abroad, remember to check the listings. And in fact, I always advise going to check other listings of the same product as well and see if you can really get the full information from those listings. Ultimately, if it seems too good to be true, well, it probably is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.